All right, hello everyone, my name is Dennis and Dan and welcome to this end of the year channel update. In this video, I just want to quickly go over the state of the channel and some of the series that we are doing and then look ahead to the future for a bit as well. Right, so this year marked my sort of return to YouTube. I had dabbled with YouTube in 2014, but not as seriously as I'm doing now. And I have to say it's been an amazing uh, year so far. The fact that I bought a new PC has opened up a lot of opportunities, for example, when it comes to uh, Europe Universalis 4. And I think especially the Cossack series has been great for the channel and boosted the audience numbers quite a bit. Uh, we've gone from about 20 subscribers uh, to when we first started again, uh, to 40 when we started playing EU4, and then to almost up to 70 subscri subscribers as I'm uh, recording this uh, update. And I think that's just amazing. So thank you guys for all your for being here and for for enjoying the content that I publish. It means a lot. We've also been uh, retweeted by Paradox Interactive themselves, which has been a personal landmark for me as I have been a longtime fan of Paradox. So that was uh, quite amazing as well. Right, so let's talk a bit about the series that are currently running on the channel. I have removed the uh, three Anno series from the ongoing series section on the main page as I'm not actively playing them anymore. We might perhaps still return to them at some point, but for now we will move away from those games. That also leads us to something that I would like to improve upon, which is that we are currently basically only playing EU4 in the uh, vanilla playthrough and in the Cossacks playthrough with uh, Japan. So I'm currently looking for a new game that we could turn into a series and run it side by side, probably with the Cossack series. Well, in any case, I'll keep you guys uh, up to date on that. So now on to some more uh, technical discussion on the channel. For those of you who are interested in that sort of stuff, after upgrading my PC, I'm now in the market for a new microphone. As some of you might know, there's a great many options out there. And to make a long story short, short I won't bore you with too many details of my uh, uh, massive research that I've been doing on it so far. Uh, I'm currently leaning towards a uh, dynamic microphone rather than an, uh, a condenser mic. A condenser mic is, for example, a, a Blue Yeti, uh, as you uh, probably all have heard of. Um, and that is because it would be better able to, uh, a dynamic mic would be better able to filter out my uh, bad recording environment and the noises around me. I'm basically just in my living room, there's uh, quite some echo around me, so. Uh, and my PC makes quite a lot of fan noise and all that sort of stuff. And I think a dynamic uh, microphone would be uh, better able to deal with that. Uh, I was also uh, like to keep it a USB microphone. And that's um, the problem. There aren't that many USB dynamic microphones um, that are affordable. Uh, so I ended up with the... Um, well, I didn't end up with it. I, I looked at the Audio-Technica ATR2100. Uh, but it turns out that that is not available in Europe for some reason, and that's where I am in Europe. So my search continues basically here again, um, I will of course keep you guys in the loop. Uh, I'm not sure where, but probably when I buy one you'll, you'll know. Uh, I'll probably do a video on it or something, I don't know. In any case, I think that's it for now. I expect uh, much more awesome content to come your way on the channel. And I hope to see you all again in the new year. And speaking about that, I have an amazing new year with uh, lots of fun and happiness. And don't forget to escape reality every now and again, or a lot, whichever you like, by checking out the stuff I'll be sending to you. Right, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.